Hi guys, it's Martin here. I thought I'll take this moment and share some thoughts and uh, be quite raw actually, and I'll be interested in your input, what you think. I know some of the things I'm about to say um, could seem a bit uh, weird, um, a bit advanced maybe, um, and for some people I guess um, they may not be open to it or, how do you say, awake to it. Uh, what I've been thinking about is um, just life in general, like what's it all about and uh, what's going on here. And uh, I've come to realise that uh, what's possibly happening is that when we're born, we actually uh, fall asleep. In other words, we're awake before we're born, then we fall asleep and we go through life asleep or half asleep or maybe we have an awakening and then we die and when we die we actually become fully awake. I know this may seem strange but it seems to me like we're moving from a point when we're born from pure love, pure innocence, uh, pure freedom, uh, pure imagination. We go through life and then what happens is we move into more fear and we collect things along the way and we kind of get deeper and deeper in that. And some people, I guess, come out of that, but some people don't come out of it and they just die and then they awaken. So it's almost like we um, start off in love and we end up in fear, but then some people end up in love before they die or they definitely end up in love after they die. Um, hopefully this makes sense to you. So there's kind of two extremes. There's um, fear and love. So what is fear? I mean, you could say fear and love is the same thing, like fear is the absence of love. Um, just like in life, you think there's duality, but actually there isn't duality. It's all the same thing. Like hot and cold are the same thing because cold is just absence of heat and black and white, well black or darkness is the absence of light. Um, so you can't have a foreground without a background, so it's kind of like two sides of a coin. So everything's one and everything is love in a way. But the problem is from when we're born we kind of become more fearful and that's not a good thing and that's because of society we kind of get conditioned and I think some of that comes from well I think most of it actually comes from other people what happens is it's like if someone hurts you then you're more likely to hurt um, or be mean to someone else it's like a, a chain with all these links and it gets passed on from one person to another so if someone hurts you what happens is that person that hurt you was hurt by someone else and then that person's hurt by someone else before that and that person's hurt by someone else before that so to break the chain, to break the link, you have to actually forgive. That's why it's important to forgive yourself and forgive others because once you break this link, then you don't pass it forward. You don't pass that bad energy forward. And that's really a key uh, point I want to make here. So anyway, everything's one, even though it looks like duality, and everything is love. Now, fear is ob obviously the opposite of that. And I think fear is also like, when you have things or you collect things or hoard things, that's because you're living in fear. Whereas love's the opposite of that. Love is about emptiness, about nothingness. In fact, love is about having no self, which means that if someone tries to attack you or how do you say, offend you, they can't because there's no self to attack. Um, and it just passes straight through you. That's why it's important to kind of get rid of the self. In other words, get rid of the ego because the ego is the self, which is the devil. And we've all got an ego and hopefully we're all trying to dissolve the ego. So if we get rid of the ego, then we go from fear to love and we end up being freer, uh, selfless, uh, fearless. So that's my take on this. I think uh, we're somewhere in between fear and love. And to be happy and fulfilled, we really need to move towards the side of love, kind of like what we were before we were born. 
And um, part of that is what I kind of promote, and that's about finding your purpose, because I think finding a purpose is important because it's about other people and it's about uh, living and working in love day in, day out. So once you're in that zone, it's easier to stay in that zone because you're thinking about the other person, you're not thinking about yourself. So as soon as you start thinking about yourself, that's when all your problems start. And that's one of the reasons uh, people get depressed. And I've worked with people that are depressed and suicidal and they tend to focus on themselves and that's the problem. But once you shift their focus onto their passion and purpose, uh, then the depression starts to subside. And that's one of the strategies I use with people is to make sure they have a passion and purpose in place and uh, that helps them with their depression or even uh, suicidal thoughts because I do believe that purpose cures depression. Um, what else did I want to say? So yeah, so life's like this dance between fear and love and uh, yeah, we all got fears and I think the key to a, a good and happy life is to get rid of those fears and to focus on love, focus on oneness and realise that everything is us really and everything is love so if someone offends us then that's really ourselves offending ourselves it means that there's an issue there or our ego is alive and we need to kill that ego because like i said if we have no ego then we're never going to get upset or offended by anyone because there's nothing to offend um, so yeah love is nothingness uh, love is basically the pure absence of fear and love is where we're going to end up after we pass away and love is what we were before we were born it's just that in this life we end up uh, picking up uh, these fears and we end up collecting things and uh, that really holds us back you know I'm talking about collecting physical things hold us back because they drain our energy and also we we collect um, how do you say uh, grudges, resentments, um, how do you say, self-doubt, um, lack of confidence, these limiting beliefs that we're not good enough. I mean, all those things really, they're like, um, how do you say, I don't know if you call them leeches that are stuck to us. And the key is to figure out how to take those leeches and, and scrape them off us and then we can become free and pure loving. And that's really the name of the game. That's how you win the game of life. Anyway, I thought I'll share these thoughts that popped into my head. Um, I hope this resonated with you in some way. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. Maybe type your thoughts below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think this is uh, out there? It's weird. Or is it possible that maybe you're not conscious of this stuff? Maybe you're still asleep. And part of my message is to try and wake you up. Just like I'm actually trying to wake myself up by considering these um, possibilities. And I'm starting to realize that this is actually more the truth because I'm finding that once I let go of myself, my ego, and I'm not attached and I don't expect anything from anyone, then really I'm a lot freer and I'm, I'm a lot um, yeah, freer to be myself and freer to express myself and freer to be more loving. And life's a breeze, you know, I can't ask for more than that. And that's what I think it's, it's all about. So hopefully this helped you in a way. Hopefully it uh, helped you think about maybe some things that you can let go of. And um, to me, the ego is an important one to let go of. And all these negative things about yourself, let go of those because they serve no purpose. And they're actually not yours, those negative beliefs. Uh, it's like dirt you just picked up off the ground. So... I suggest you clean that off you and realize that you are pure love. You were love and you are love. It's just that after you're born, you got a bit dirty. And what I'm trying to do here is share some concepts, some ideas that can help clean you up a little bit. So then you can shine basically and be a light for other people. So anyway, if you like what, I, what I've said, please hit the like button. If you have some thoughts, please type them below. And if you think this um, could help other people, please share it and uh, have a great day. Ciao.